I know, I know. Where was Room Room yesterday? Look, I, there was a lot of weird stuff going on, okay? The slate was just the start of it. Recipes and ingredients on bills that I was focusing on suddenly disappearing, that of course I've now fixed, was uh, was very suspicious enough. Load in yesterday and the very brand new Xenotype that we got suddenly disappears from the game. Just a little suspicious, that's all I'm saying. After spending a little while fixing and diagnosing everything and building base in real life, hopefully we're good now. You're still very suspicious that there might be a rogue modder out there. They have been promising it since the dawn of time. Finally, the Egyptian vampires. A trolley hawk, grand chief of these people, recently rescued two tribes people from a mechanoid hive. Hawk wants you to guard them for 12 days until he can send a shuttle to collect them. If we succeed, Breno, a Malachi. Oh, you're terrible. Oh, you're a child. Boo. Um, oh, hello there. Gene Siphon. They can forcefully extract a gene from an incapacitated but living person, incorporating it into their xenotype. Oh my god. This is the best thing I've ever heard. Oh. Loot box vampires. But before I forget, again, all of my friends and all of my enemies over in Vanilla Expanded have been telling me to have a look at the invocation matrix because it allows you to pick a new very powerful power for your sanguifage. So that's why Anne has a second coagulate on her bar right now because that's what the invocation matrix gave her, right? So we can have it like off cooldown or something like that. Anyway, uh, I've been told to have a look at the heart crush power. And of course, I mean, let's be honest, I'd have clicked that one anyway. Whoa, viscous goo, hemo, hemo, hemosmosis, ecstasy, filter ex infection. I guess if we connect up a bunch of these to Anne, we can in theory give her a whole bunch of different powers, right? Because our only limit to how many machines we can connect to her is the death rest serum. I was saving lots of death rest serum for Mona and, and Evolka and every, all, the, all our faction leaders, right? But... Oh, is this a mad idea? What if we completely max Anne out and give her everything? The maximum stack of all the buildings. Because there's a certain amount you can give them, right? I think it's like five of each or something like that. Oh, that would be nuts, but it would also be amazing. You know what? Friendship ended with Mona. <laughs> Anne is my new best friend. Do it. Do it, Anne. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. You can keep going. On limited power. And we are up to 17 death rest capacity serum. As Roto, my friend, your, what is she now? Baroness, your Baroness has a task for you. I wasn't ever gonna do anything like this, I will admit. I wanted to spread the resources around a little bit more, but why not? Why shouldn't I do it? Oh, with the release of Vanilla Expanded High Mates, when you reach a certain tier in the Empire, you get given a lovely cat boyfriend. Cat girl, it doesn't really matter. The point is it's someone for you to love and cherish. And by love and cherish, I mean love and cherish. These are gifted to you when you reach a certain rank in the Empire. Psychic bonding means that they will always succeed with the romance attempts. But with perfect body, beautiful hair, kind instincts, and uh, other such features, I, I think that whoever, you know, you make the romance attempts on, they're probably going to be up for it anyway. They also, this is kind of cool, they have a recessive genome that means if they have any children, that child will be born whatever the other parent is. What happens if you get two high mates? I'm not sure. Maybe you can't. This lovely little cat boy. What's his name there? Os Oscar. Oscar, I see. Uh, th this person was provided to us from, from the Empire yesterday. Just got to make a very, very small minor alteration to this cat boy. It's a minor, minor change. Just a very minor inconsequential change. You don't have to think anything of it. In theory, we click in and we click the romance button. Oh! That was not the romance button. <laughs> we click in. Oh, they're drafted. You can't romance while you're drafted. Everybody knows that. Having Oscar of Romance Anne could sow resentment amongst existing partners. Oh, that's a fair point. But, look, this is... Uh, just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. These things happen, okay? Anne hasn't seen her wife in years. We don't even know. We don't even know that, that Anne's wife is, is alive and well. We don't even know what happened to Petal. And besides, Anne was married once before. So she's fine with just, like... Loving other people. Nobody even remembers Aragon from the original vampire series. What's happening with your face? Oh, it's one of the royalty haircuts. Oh, oh you look a lot better with that toque turn. Oh, that looks way better. Haxorus looking ass. Poor quality? Oh, for God's sake, because the guest turned up and started. Don't ruin Anne's museum like this. What's wrong with you? Masterwork, masterwork, masterwork. Legendary. Oh, the legendary skeleton. That actually didn't take nearly as long as I expected. 
You know, let's slap that bad boy up there. Oh, you see, this skeleton here is legendary, but all the others are only simply masterwork skeleton. It is a com- Well, I mean, it's an art gallery, right? So it's, it's a commentary on society. The skeletons were all made of the- of the same material. The same building blocks that make up skeletal society. Beneath that cold, hard exterior, they're all the same. Thinking, feeling, breathing, loving people. Yet because society has ascribed an arbitrary label to this skeleton, it lords over the other skeletons looking down on them, believing it's better. But we know the truth, skeleton. You're all made of 85 side blocks. It's a powerful piece. I'm, I'm, I'm moved. Okay, I'm moved. Rare thrombos. Anne? Crush that thrombo's heart. I suppose she hasn't death rested yet. Okay, fine. You're, you're fine for today. Oh, oh, quest complete the mighty building. Right, because I had to just stand for a few days, didn't it? Oh, amazing. Cool. Rank every day. Remember what I said. We're up to 19. We need 20 honor for Countess. You son of a bitch. Give me some honor. Give me some honor. Persona call. Worthless garbage. Arcade capsules. Worthless. I don't need this. No, get out of here. Ooh, what we do have is one of our very fancy guns. Another relic. Oh, all right. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll build, we'll build it up slowly. Okay, so you're here. I can't do anything else for anybody yet. Royal Tribute Collector. We do have some gold. All I need to do is give them, like, like three gold, right? I don't remember how much gold it is per honor. Here. Oh, we give them the LTEX. We could give them the LTEX. What the hell am I going to do with this much LTEX? Oh, this is big brain time. Whenever we get an L6 meteor, I should be out there mining the bloody thing. Like, on the world, not just in our map. This might be the real trick. Because the quests, the quests have not been giving us much honor recently. 25 honor. Good lord. And it's Countess Ceremony. She can't be that far off of the rank above Countess, too, then, with another 25 honor, right? 44. Uh, 40, uh, Countess. Arch Countess is 93 total. Whoa. Now we need a freaking piano. <laughs> no, we haven't, we haven't gone afford for the piano. Is that what you're telling me? You shitbag. You fool. You know, it's been a while since I've sent out the PE squad. Again, name. I need a better name. Please, for God's sake, tell me a better name than that. Ooh, Cups is regrown. Hey, come here. I've got a, I've got, I've got a gift for you, Zen. It's a tasty, tasty Zenotype. Welcome, my new vampire friend. Whoa. Oh, you got some of that cool vampire hat. Oh, we'll have to look at that in a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I mean, that's not my fault, just to clarify. Oh, it's going the other way, thank God. Okay, that could have been a real diplomatic incident if the whole Imperial Tribute Collector was swept away. <laughs> Is it morally wrong of me to filter all of this colony's resources into Anne? No, no, I don't think it is, actually. I'll admit, I might have gone a little overboard on the projectors and the holograms and everything else we've got going on. I've got to see what this blood viewer is. I presume it's just an ideology variant of... Of, of all the other projectors, right? Oh, there you go. Related to enthralled. So the, uh, I think Zen is enthralled, right? So down here counts as a building. That's a cool mechanic. I like that a lot. Whoa, I feel like I want to add a large projector to the other ideology now so we can slap a view down in the ideology room. It's a bit crap in here. I haven't really done much, to be fair. I left Anne's persona sword in the river. <laughs> it's all right. It's not like that's a valuable tool or anything. Oh, let's have a look. I mean, to be fair, we could always swap out our Altec Star for that, because she's doing fine with Psy Powers. Oh, it looks cool, though, doesn't it? One thing I also want to do, I think I want to put this crown in the reliquary and swap back to the Stellic crown. Did you know I had a job circumcising elephants? It made me rich. Well, that job couldn't have paid well, no. But the tips were enormous. I didn't even have to say anything. That's not me besmirching honorable modders out there. Uh, any relation, of course, to real modders is purely coincidental. Oh, it's straight from the horse's mouth. I didn't make anything up. It was a coincidence. <laughs> and it's taken us about 40 minutes and a lot of caravanning, but we've got ourselves a piano now. I Oh, my God. Look at all of this. Uh, you want me to fight boogs? Nah, I'm okay, actually. Paid some blocker. 41 goodwill. I mean, look, we, we should just always take the Altex or gold because that we can directly translate into honor anyway. I think I'll take the gold. And I think, if I'm not mistaken with this quest, if you accept it, you just get the rewards immediately, don't you? Because it's a, it's a world threat. It's up to you if you want to go and deal with it or not. Oh, we can trade both for honor. I think I'll take the gold for now. We can sell the Luciferum or we can keep the Luciferum. That's, that's up to me. Uh, give me some. Ooh, hello. Go fight a Lothar for four honor. 
Oh, that's cool. Okay, we'll probably do that one. Space drone hat. We'll get a Valkyrie on that one immediately. Well, there's the payments right away. 440 gold and the 64 list for him. Uh, actually, I think Leela was the better hacker, right? In the background, Zen is working on Anne's LTEX gear. I'm, I'm all about progress today. I'm in. We're always a progress nation. Forget about the base building. That can happen in the background. Although, to be fair, they've pretty much already done Anne's brand new death rush chamber, even though this is the worst idea I've ever had. It's not about how good a use of resources it is. Sure, maybe it will take me 6,000 steel to just get Anne to move 20% faster and get her a few more powers. That's okay. And boom. There you go. Done. And the LTX shirt is complete. And you're working on the final bit now, so vest shirt robe. We'll give it that crown back too, and we'll put this one in a reliquary. I so rarely build reliquaries. I feel like I'm really missing a trick, especially because we've got like a museum. That seems kind of perfect for that. I suppose it's an art gallery, right? The best part about making all these bloody statues too is we're getting so many slate blocks, marble blocks, whatever, from the mining camp that we can convert into statues. Then all the crappy statues that I don't want to put in a gallery, I can just trade for stuff like death rest capacity serum. The worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Why would vanilla expanded room room world like this? But you know, my big concern right now is the fact that our food supplies are running a little bit slim. From where I rebalanced Dan's empire and sent like different people with different passions to other places, we've dropped our raw meat production to like 3,000 every week, which is kind of low. We've got our other cryo generator. You know what? How far are we? We only need to steal for the other one, so it's quite literally just uh, waiting for the... Uh, waiting for that site to deliver it for us. Wait, is this room uneven? No, I'm just a fool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We've already got enough power to send the hydroponics back on anyway, but I've got to expand out more than that. I want Mona's faction to be flooding this base with all sorts of wealth. There's all the LSEX gear. You know what? I think let's put it on first before the Countess ceremony. I think you deserve it. Oh, I'm right on cue. Thousand steel. Look at that. Amazing timing. Okay, there we go. We've got to see it. 641 heat. Oh, no. Maybe I'll just get a start meditating all day again, huh? No, oh, this is this is nuts. Holy shit. Uh, I, I almost want to keep going into her stats, and then if we get into any emergency, we can just fire off spear after spear after spear. Somebody, I, I, I gotta bring it up. Someone in the Discord was like, oh, Vanilla Expanded Psychos, making the game too easy again. She's been meditating for, hold on a second, she's been meditating for like three years. 416 days in game, it's 60 days a year. And her schedule has been non stop meditation pretty much. Always. I occasionally will force us to do a little bit of work, like the crafting when, uh, for example, right now, when Cubs is in death rest, I got Anne to build the piano. Other than that, she's just been meditating. Can I come back, Cluster? <gasps> well, I can't ignore that one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, they sent another defoliator, um, which of course would be horribly inconvenient if I hadn't already ignored the original defoliator, which has been sat there for uh, years, actually forever. On the plus side, though, look at the chain reaction waiting to happen with that. Oh, and we can try out some of these crypto guns as well. Oh, this is going to be fun. What are they going to do? Kill us? I'd like to see them try. Countess ceremony, let's do it. Oh, please don't light any of the mechanoids. E is our proximity sensor? I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. They've just got to be got to be careful. They landed down there. They landed down there. We're good. Hello. How you doing? It's your good friend Countess Anne. Ah. And don't forget every single one of these levels is giving us even more silent. Honorable. Three more honor. Fantastic. We actually really can't be far off that next rank then, huh? I think like 15 more or something like that. Uh, what are we up to? Oh, honestly, total honor there, friend. Cost 28 honor. We're, we're one off. I was completely wrong. How did I get that so off? Oh, shit. I should have just traded one more with that bloody trade caravan. Damn it. We go out there and clap that Lothar quickly. That's four honor. That's enough to get out another rank. I said a rank every day. We're going to get three. Mark my words. You know, I think I'm actually going to pick some permits here. Uh, we can pick permits directly from the permit screen instead. You can see we can pick it from either Anne or Mona or Tom. But it allows you to say, for example, you're very forgetful. <laughs> Get distracted very easily for whatever reason. Maybe you're a small child or me. Uh, then you can uh, you can obviously flick through these a lot easier with this very fancy, very nice interface. There you go, Oscar. I'll take my five pounds now. Thank you. I think I'm going to go wood drop. Which seems a bit shit, but it's going to save a lot of caravanning and pissing around. I'm going to go sin through a devil strand, and we're going to work up to getting the hyperweave. Because that's going to be... I mean, 55 hyperweave, but it's not much. But it's such a hard thing to get normally. I think that's fine. And then Mona, you as the knight can be our our combat character. Do we have another permit for Mona? Oh, we got two more. Oh, shit. Aerodrone Salvo. I'll probably deal with that mech cluster by itself, to be fair. And then if we also go for... What a striker, like, to drop a... Three striker turrets to aid you in battle after they fire their ammo, they self-detonate. Oh, that's kind of fun. 
I'll take the Janissaries, though. Oh, my God, Peter Boss. Look at you. Holy crap. Two hands on the sword, another on the shield. I won't ask any questions. Okay, let's get Anne to, like, there. I I'm going to swap her back to a charge rifle, though. I don't really want to fighting mechanoids like that. Mona and Peter Boss, though. They're this is what they're born for, right? Let's throw you there. Try and keep everybody somewhat behind cover. Honestly... I think this aerodrome salvo will probably just deal with it all. So I'm not really that concerned. Drop it there. That seems good. That seems good. Just just be ready. Be ready. Let's put you there. Oh, shit. Let's get inside the shield. Again, what are they going to do? Kill us? Okay. Oh, the high shield. You fool. Wow, I'm good at this. Oh, I'm good at this. Okay, there's the high shield. I wonder if we could just, like, crack that one open. Oh, you know what? Just, just blow it up. Just blow the fucking thing up. What are they going to do? Kill us? Die. Die. Come on. Come on. Come on, a couple more shots. Come on, now, 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 please. Please, shoot the... Sh shoot it! What are you doing? Lilo, Lilo, Lilo. We're running out of time. Please, 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 come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward. What What the hell kind of range is that gun? Please. Oh, this is pathetic. It's right there. Fire revolver. It's something. Yes! Boil and die. Boil and die. Oh, that wasn't nearly as explosive as I thought. Oh, that one, that one's triggered as well. Actually, this might be fine. This might be fine. I will admit... I kind of fucked this. I will admit this. Well, my, my bad. My bad. I kind of... I, I, I might have balls this up slightly. And get your sword. And get your sword. Execute that damn psyker. No, Anne. Anne, 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 Anne. I know you love the... I know you love the magic stick, okay? Just use your, use your sword. Are we good? Well, that's most of the cost to deal with. I'm a little bit concerned about this fire, though. Shit. Well, kind of expected that might happen. She lost an ear. Her nose was shattered. She just took too much damage. Oh, what a mess, though. What a goddamn mess. This, this couldn't have gone worse. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, everybody is down, but it's not... Oh, fucking hell. It's not bad. It could have could have gone a lot worse. It couldn't have gone much worse. <laughs> Come on, Mona. Come on, Mona. Come on, Mona. Nice, nice, nice. It's down, it's down, it's down. Oh, wait, wait, it's not down? Oh, shit. <gasps> they shot the statue and the statue came to life. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, no. They broke the pedestal and it forced the statue to come to life. Oh, shit. Nose. Nose, help us out here. Qu quest failed. Oh, right, because I missed the shuttle. Sorry. I, I thought that was going to be like a 30-second job dealing with those mechanoids. It was not. It was far from that. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will admit, that wasn't great. That wasn't great. To be honest with you, I was a lot distracting when I'm uh, trying to do everything and then... My sound panels keep falling down because it's so warm in here. It's not an excuse. It's just, you know, three sound panels falling on me when I'm mid-raid. and People wonder why I'm not fighting the raids. But it's just, it was just an explanation. It's not an exclusive. It was poorly planned. I tried to use a um, orbital strike on something with a high shield. That doesn't make any sense. Run us up. Oh. Oh. No, oh, come on. I don't know what I'm expecting with her trying to execute like this enormous mechanoid. <laughs> oh, that tiny child just hit it with a bottle of beer and killed it. Well, who needs elite vampiric knights when you've got that? How's everyone doing though? Like, everybody's fine. Baz Roto is about to go into death rest, but everybody's like fine. It's just bruises. It was just like a lot of bruises and burns, which is like pretty much our exclusively only weakness. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> fine. It's fine. I think Tomboy can deal with this. A special treat for you all. <laughs> great. Great. Good work. Good work. Live your life. My God, she's enormous. She is enormous. Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. The only the only damage in that whole thing was Anne. And she's like, she's fine too. She lost an ear. She lost a nose. We can, we can fix her. Did anybody lose anything else? Uh, no. No, we're actually good. Again, it's just the fire. It's the only thing we can't deal with, okay? That genuinely was the only... The only damage was Anne. Her ear and her nose. Okay, that's all we have to replace. How long is the Lotha Hunt Act for? 22 days? Hold on. This might have been a blessing in disguise. Because Anne has been death resting for 58% of the relevant time. She needs 75% to gain... With stat on coagulate. No, no, no. Heart crush. And then in theory, when she wakes up, we can just send her to go and crush the heart of that Lotha. I want to go back to that art gallery idea I had yesterday and combine a couple of ideas from yesterday. Because I think capturing deserters and, and sealing them forever in legendary statues for an imperial art gallery is it's so amazing. It's maybe the best idea I've ever had. But then, why not combine that with the blood creep idea and 
tie in the Sengu phage a little bit. As as our vampiric empire, what better way than to seal deserters in blood statues? And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to set that up. I, I've got this set up to be uh, legendary only at the laser sculpting table. It's like 10% faster than the regular art bench, so I'm not going to move everything over there. Oh, damn you. I was hoping that would be uh, a tribute collective. We've got to wait a few more months for that. Fine. Okay, Tombo, you're still pretty healthy, right? God, this isn't very good. Oh, Mona. Mona had to do it because, yeah, Tombo's not in a high enough rank quite yet. We're going to work on still for a little while first. Uh, a little bit cloth? I can't afford this. Oh, they buy the deserter gear. Oh, that's good, because I am sat on a hell of a lot of those 28,000. Oh, shit. Um, okay, I will just take everything useful then. Let's just, let's just cash out at this point, huh? Psychic sensitizer for an dog leather cape. You son of a bitch. I will take a growth ray. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a poor idea. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy to take it. Do need blood. All right, but I'll buy your animals. Uh, specifically, just to turn into a blood altar. So that seems that seems pretty good. Some sacrifices, so to speak. Oh, that was enough. Oh shit! Look at that. So we got from whatever we were before up to 81. But clearly, we were lower than 75. To be fair. <laughs> a lot of shit there, didn't I? Like a damn zoo out here. Somebody come kill these animals. I need their blood. I mean, look, you know that when we're in charge of the Empire, we've got to change the whole castle out to blood creep, right? When we get up there to the highest of ranks. This lazy piece of shit, what are you doing? Look at this lazy fucking guy right here. The laziest guy maybe I've ever seen. Just unbelievable. Well, I like, and takes a lethal injury. Pierpos fights for his life. You get into one slight, you have to, you have to do a slightest tiny inkling of hard work and you're out for a few days, huh? You can pay other people to do it for you. Unbelievable. Absolutely disgusting behavior. Z Zoomers. Z Zoomers. They gotta pull themselves up by the bootstraps. They just think they can, well, you make some mods and then that's it. That's your life, huh? What, you just think you can produce content for people for free on the internet and then you can somehow live your life doing that? No, you should do backbreaking labor. Why would you do a thing like that? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> We've got a sun blocker and a weather controller and a defoliator. Okay, you know what? I just don't care. I just don't care. Have they got a high shield this time? They do. And finished death rest and she didn't gain that new ability. So it makes me wonder if those abilities are... Uh, you, you build the invocation matrix, you select an ability, and then that is applied permanently to the character, not just when they, or, or until they next death rest, because I did swap it over and it hasn't worked. Again, it could just be some weirdness with this mod pack, because I've never seen a more haunted mod pack. Runs perfectly. My favorite thing we've done in a long time in terms of actually having a life. Um, <laughs> simultaneously, weird shit going on. Oh, boo. I guess we'll have to do it at some point, eh? Let's go kill that Lothar. Let's at least get one more easy rank. I'm going to take the melee characters. I'm going to take Anne for fairly obvious reasons. And I think we'll take a Volca with that cryo launcher to freeze the thing in place. We're going to take, uh, we're going to take six people, right? So I guess we'll also take um, uh, the heavy crossbow, slow to fire, but does a shitload of damage. That seems pretty good. You son of a bitch. What is going on today? What is going on? We've got toxic fallout, defoliator, sunblocker, permanent fog, permanent winter, tornadoes, and now mechanoids. I have upset nature. Oh, that hairstyle is very, very cool. Look at that. <laughs> you need a bigger helmet. Why is Oscar still in bed? Oh, he's missing a lung. Okay, fair enough. And then people keep sucking on him. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> God help us all. Here we go, fist fighting the hyper thrombo. We have no instant kill powers this time or anything. Why are you running? Don't you run, are you trying to leave the map? Don't you run away, hey, come back here. And kill it, kill it dead. Well, was this the one that she was using to insta kill all those deserters? Oh, deserters were genies, by the way, like the weakest of all xenotypes. They were never gonna do any damage. Ooh, shit, I've gotta leave the shot a little bit. I've gotta leave the shot, hold on, fire there. Nice, nice, stay on target, boom. Why is it running? No. Why is it running? There's only... Heart crush. I was wrong. It's right there. How the fuck did I miss that? And crush its heart. <laughs> Turns out we did have an instant kill. We'll see if it works, though. Get closer, get closer, get closer. And crush its heart. Oh! Yes! <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh, so it's like only available. Look, it was only available while there was like hostiles on the map? I'm not sure. Is that like an anti-cheese mechanic? Crazy. There it is. One dead Lothar. Heart destroyed. This is so bizarre that this is exactly what happened last time. Can we carry it home in the in the ship? Is it too heavy? 232 kilograms. Nice. 
Oh, minus a heart, of course. And it did work. I, I don't think it popped up because she was in the ship when I accepted the honor. But there it is. Our Anne's Arch Counter Ceremony. So we need two more drapes, which is pretty easy. We've got a bunch of wood coming in now. Small steels and a grand table. I wonder if I could just build the large steels and be done with it. Because, I mean, like, everything in Empire, you need to... I mean, everything with the Empire, I should say, in base game. Remember, of course, you need to keep upgrading anyway. So I presume if we throw down the large steels, eventually we're going to need them regardless. So I'm hoping that'll work. If it doesn't, who gives a shit? And get some big old cool furniture. Where am I going to put all this stuff? Yeah, let's get rid of... <laughs> Where am I gonna put all this stuff? Um, okay, let's reinstall the organ. Throw down the grand steels. There you go. I'll put it behind Put it behind the fence. There you go. And we'll see if that works. If not, I'll just slap the others down anyway. I'll just slay blocks. Who cares? Jet's problem. Unless Jet's problem involves me getting a shitload of... Oh, honor. Who are you? Just a human. Garanlinkin. No, thank you. And my wood deliverer is here. Oh, excuse me. Let's get your pigs off my landing pad. Oh, the poor muffalo. <laughs> Two ones. Okay, it didn't work, but that doesn't matter. I didn't matter. Just more art for my good friend Anne. Oh, what a minor setback. We need a small one. Where is that? Oh, there you are. Um, that'll do. That's fine. We need a grand table. One thing I am doing, because it's not befitting to have a bin in the throne room. So I am digging little bin corridors. <laughs> Realistically, we don't need one there at all, because that one's already already pretty well covered. Let's just get rid of that one. Put the other bin somewhere in the wall where we don't have to look at it. Maybe we bring the maybe we bring these forward and we put grand tables behind both of them. Oh, I'm so worried about the symmetry. This is gonna destroy me. Uh grand table. How big is it? I imagine quite large, given the name. <laughs> um, uh, it kind of works. It actually does kind of work. I think we can I think we can make this happen. What if we flip these around and we have the table just like just like there and they, they sit at the table like tables are meant for. There you go. That kind of works. Oh, a masterwork too. Wow. Um, okay, I'll swing that around quickly. Timki, come back. We've got to tidy up this throne. This is a goddamn dump. Table's the wrong size. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. If we put that there, and then I just reinstall things so it's even, that's fine. Oh, this, this can work. This can work. <gasps> oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, my God. Those look amazing. Resurrect. Use archives in the bloodstream to infuse a corpse with new life. Repairing degenerated cell structures and kickstarting vital functions. Oh, shit. Kind of be used very rarely. Understandable. Absolutely fair. Then, of course, we've got that gene siphon so we can suck people up. Forcibly extract a gene from an incapacitated but living person. Oh, this is so cool. These are so cool. Brendo Dap? That's already a Rimworld name. <laughs> That's better than anything I could have come up with. Well, this, this guy. That's going to be the leader of, of that Egyptian... You son of a bitch. The boiling rain just burnt the anima tree. What do you think? It wasn't the other anima tree? No, no, no. The other anima tr tree was hit by a meteor. Maybe it wasn't the rain. Maybe it was some blocks of the toxic fallout. I don't know. And more importantly, I don't care. I don't care because not only is Anne's death rest chamber looking phenomenal. The groundwork is laid for my really stu- You've got to have one really stupid idea every series at the very minimum. For me, that generally tends to be the concept for every single series. But this one's been fairly sensible. So you got to let me do something. And this- Filling this room with machines and turning Anne into some sort of a hemogen pumped lunatic is amazing. What have you done? You've just made me a legendary sandglass for my museum. You, my friend. Oh, it can be part of my, co my, my commentary on society. Because you see, we are all the same on the inside. We're all built of the same 85 slate blocks or whatever I was getting at before. But you know what defeats us all? Time. <laughs> we are all mortal, and it does not matter if you are the Stellark or the legendary skeleton or the chaff, the bottom of society. We all die to time, except for everybody in this colony, because they're all sanguifage. Wow, that metaphor unraveled pretty fast. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's make her Arch Countess. Look at this place. Oh, this is good. I was so worried a couple of episodes ago, right? When I was stuck at... Uh, when we were stuck at just like Praetor, or Night, in fact, I think, Fran, right? And there were just no quests popping up, no honor, no opportunity. No... Mum spaghetti. Wait, what? Uh, uh, 40 degrees in here. <gasps> anyway, um... <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. It doesn't matter. I am Arch Countess. Anne's Arch Countess. I'm not Anne. Because if I was Anne, that would have some... 
quite frankly, horrifying connotations given everything that's happened today. Or maybe the best connotations ever. Why are you doing art? Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of appropriate, isn't it? It's so warm. <laughs> yes! She is up to 971 heat. I think we start looking at different parts. Let's get her up to 1,000 heat, because what's 1,000 heat amongst friends? Then we will move her elsewhere. I actually like the evolution of this story. I was a little worried that, you know, the problem I have with a lot of bases recently, the thing that I've got, like, obsessed with is, is laying all the groundwork and, and, and doing all the building, like, super fast, even though that's kind of... The natural evolution is the is the interesting part. So this is kind of cool that we laid the, the slate tile, then we put the carpets and the borders and the throne changed. Then we had the tables and and it's still evolving, right? Next steps, find carpets. And you can see I've I've tried to do a little bit for the ideology room because that was a shithole. But this, this will be my magnum opus. This will be if I throw down like loads of these, you could take all the powers. Is that how that works? This will be my magnum opus. Mark my way. I don't know how many of these stack, but there's only one way to find out. Mad science. <laughs> this is, this is going to be a lot of fun to try and build tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've already planned out five of each machine. That's the plan. I want super anime, but I don't just want to slap with the super soldier gear, the generic, oh, here's the Marco stuff, and here's, like, cataphract on receipt breaker. No, no, no. We're going to get there through the medium of sanguifage. What a fucking sentence. Friends and viewers, thank you for joining me. Thank you for bearing with me in this series. I've been so busy in real life, and I can't wait to show off what I've been working on. Everything is, is coming together. Like, I made so much progress on it yesterday because of all the modding shit that went down, and I had to fix that. It left me with a free evening of, of not editing. So I have I have so much to show you. I've been, I've been putting off this Patreon update video for a very, very long time now because I'm like so close to being able to show off the finished result. I thought instead of just doing like minor updates, let's just get it done. It's sick. Well, depending on your opinion, but you'll see. I'm not going to spoil anything about it, but it's very... It's very much like my aesthetic. You'll see You'll see when it's done. It's going to hopefully make everything so much more streamlined. And I'm not going to suffer trying to record these episodes anymore in a horrific amounts of heat. Thank you to everybody. But thank you, of course, to the executive producer patrons for allowing the channel to exist. A big thank you to Earth Rocker, Under the Couch, Akrana, Vox Dei, Jamie McBee, Crackadacker, Ghost Hawk, Secret, Scott Layton, Bottom of the Swamp, Spaceman Joe, Bill Sasparilla, Taco Cat, Anthony Frackenthal, Dead Degrees, Get Swifty, Commander Crint, Alvin Flang, Blend Gun, Sucker to Balls, Scapegoat, Mordecai Zuba, and Grim. At the executive producer, tiers over on Patreon. Apologies, I'm slightly behind with the Patreon list this month. We've got, like, maybe another day of the June list, and then we're back on for for July. Um, again, because I've missed, like, so much time this month because of just all the complications and, and real-life shit that's almost, almost, almost done. It's been a little bit behind, so thank you again for your eternal patience. And hopefully, tomorrow, Anne will be stronger than ever. I cannot believe she got that insta-kill power back. The one thing, I was like, okay, this series, we're going to keep it more balanced. I think I even talked about it at the start of the series. We'll keep it more balanced this time. We'll get all the trophies, and they'll mean something because we're not insta-killing them. Nope. Powerful as ever.